so here I am trying to pull this worm off, caterpillar rather, and not only does it not want to come off, but it's just making all these sounds at me. Um, so people don't know this about me, but I actually am not a fan of caterpillars. Um, I can admire them from a distance. I know that it won't hurt me, but I don't know, something about creepy corallis freaks me out. I've never had a tomato hornworm this large on my tomato plants, and so I am not a fan. So don't think that if you're a gardener, you have to love all of these creepy crawlies. You do not. You do not. Um, oh, you know what? I am not a fan. I'm really not. It does not want to come off. And every time I try to pull it, like, bends backwards. It is freaking me out. I'm just going to use the stick to kind of push it off. And look how well attached it is. Like, it's trying to attack. Look at that. Have you ever seen a tomato hornworm attack like that? That's insane. Here I am trying to push it off and it's not having it. No, thank you. And it actually has this little... Look at that. Ew. Actually has like spiny looking feet like things at the end. So... Oh, it actually slimed my hand, believe it or not. So I've never seen anything like this before. Um, check this out. It's producing all this slime. So if you have any more information about this, I'm really curious now to know more about these caterpillars. I know where they come from. Um, I did a video about how they are the five spotted hawk moth before and all of that stuff. But this is a new behavior I've never seen before. Look at this. Like, I'm just trying to pluck it off and it's not having it. And honestly, I definitely don't want to grab it now. Like, I know that there's a caterpillar that looks very similar to the tomato hornworm. And I'm kind of wondering if this is it. So, I know this isn't like a very fancy <laughs> educational video. But I thought it was really interesting. So, you can maybe comment below and tell me what's going on here what's up with this guy exactly what it is um I'm not about this life I'll tell you that much look at this right here guys so those little white spiky things are actually they it helps the hornworm kind of hold on to the tomato branch so it can suck the juices out and there you can see its mouth right above it whew So, I'm not 100% certain, but my theory is, is that the defensive slime that it spit at me is also the same kind of um, slime and juices that have enzymes in it that help it break down the tomato plant so that it can um, suck nutrients out of it. It's really hard for me to find all the information on these that I'd like to find, um, but that's my theory, and what do you think? So, a recap of the list of things I didn't know about tomato hornworms, and um, no gardener's ever said anything about that I've heard either until today. Um, one, they make a defensive clicking noise. This bad boy clicked its uh, mouthpieces at me and totally freaked me out. There it is. Um, secondly, this spiky part is its... Uh, booty. It's, it's it's back end. It's a distraction um, for predators. And that up the top curled up is its head. Oh, no thank you. I also didn't know until I got slimed that they actually will spit slime at you or create slime as a defense. And look, its head is kind of died from the slime that it Bit on me earlier. I've always thought that this part was um was the tail end or maybe I just did, I don't know that's insane so 
it's kind of cool guys these guys actually suck out the juices of your tomato plants and that I knew and I just didn't know that they do all this other really cool stuff um also totally freaky I've never been attacked by a worm before so caterpillar no thank you no thank you